Merhabalar arkadaşlar, Fraktis'ten selamlar. Ee, Hamburg'dayız bugün. Ee, Razer'ın CEO'su ile beraberiz. Çoğunuz tanıyorsunuzdur. Bir beraber bir sohbet edeceğiz, ona sorularımızı ileteceğiz. Daha sonra sizin de artık yorumlarınızı alacağız. Belki daha sonra da iletebiliriz sorularımızı. Hani e-mail vasıtasıyla vesaire. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a really good day in Hamburg. It's beautiful. And it's really good to be with you. To it's great to be with you too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I want to talk about a Razer and your products and the future of Razer, maybe the mm -hmm. gaming industry. Well, let's start with Razer. Sure. Where do you see Razer right now in the gaming industry? How it influenced the gaming industry, the PC gaming industry? Sure. sure. Yeah. Well, I think today Razer is the um, leading brand for gamers. So we're not a gaming company. We're actually a company focused on gamers and um, when we were looking at uh, some of the work that we were doing in the gaming mouse, keyboard, the laptop space, something that we realized was we didn't just create the world's first gaming mouse, yes. we actually created an entire industry. So if you think about it, if we didn't have, if we didn't have done it back in the day, this entire, you know, you see thousands of these gaming peripherals or yes. whatever today, all of this would not have existed. So I think from a gaming um, industry perspective, we, we play a really important role because what we do is that today, because we spend probably the most amount in terms of research and development in this space, we lead in terms of the technology and we set the benchmarks over and over, be it mice, keyboards, laptops, etc. for the entire industry. So we think that um, it's important for us to continue doing that, to continue pushing the envelope in terms of um, R&D in terms of technology, in terms of uh, intellectual property. And that be, that's something that um, is very important to us here at Razer. And probably the most important thing for us is that we continue doing things for the gamers by the gamers. Yeah, and it's your motto, right? That's our motto. <laughs> yeah, and I want to ask you about the future of the PC gaming. Mm -hmm. You know, the console gaming is really heating up. Sure. Yeah. And what do you think about the future of PC gaming? Is it in danger or how good? I think there will always be PC gamers. So, you know, I used to be, I, I started being a PC gamer all the way through. And I've always been a PC gamer for decades. Um, is it going to change? Probably not. You know, is there going to be more? Is there ups and downs? You know, I've heard the PC gaming industry is dying and things like that. They for many, all many times, time, right? all the time, right? <laughs> but no, you're seeing some exciting games. I'm seeing things like... Um, XCOM 2, you know, the, uh, that's going to be a PC exclusive. I'm seeing games launched on the, X, uh, on, the, on the PC more so than anything else. And I think for us, it's important for, uh, you know, for ourselves as Razer to keep pushing the limits from the, from the hardware and the software platform basis mm -hmm. so that we can bring a lot more of these um, great experiences um, to gamers everywhere, be it whether it's PC, console or, or mobile. But that much said, I'm also excited about all kinds of gaming because I think the, the idea that um, a PC gamer only plays with a PC, that's, been, that's not very accurate anymore because PC gamers will own sometimes a console. Maybe they will own mobile, um, games. You know, mobile games and things like that. So I think a gamer, whether it's PC, console or, or mobile, whatever, just enjoys um, having fun. Yeah. And when we uh, talk about having fun and the future of gaming, what mm -hmm. do you think about VR and AR? I'm, right I'm very excited by it. So Razer is one of the leaders. I think we've spent a lot of time um, doing R&D in VR for the past couple of years. And what we've done is we've taken all the work that we've done and made it completely open source. So it's now the world's largest open source VR platform. It's called Open Source VR, uh, OS VR. Yes, I know that. And we've made it completely open. We've got uh, colleges and uh, universities, the academia, we've got developers all on it. And something that we're excited about now. I still think it's a bit of ways from a true consumer um, device, but I think we're really, really close. Yes, and I like to ask you another question. Sure. Uh, with the gaming uh, products, mm -hmm. you have another products like wearables, yes. like Nabu. Yes, I, Nabu X. Yeah, Nabu X. Uh, do you have any plans to take this another to further, like, uh, mm -hmm. for example, and uh, smartwatch with Android OS or its own OS maybe? Sure. Well, I think for us, we don't look at it as wearables, to be honest. Um, when we first launched the Naboo and then the Naboo X, 
we were actually very surprised that how many, many, how much more other people were doing it. Because most of the time at Razor, we are the only ones doing something. Every, everyone says you're crazy, and then years later, everybody kind of follows. So the first thing that when we did the Nabu, our concept was actually a little different. Our concept was, you know. Technology is becoming so mobile, we always bring our laptops and stuff like that around. And then now, um, mobile phones. We were looking at integrating technology onto the body itself, and somebody would be carrying it around himself or, or herself. We definitely see this as um, one of the areas that we're going to be investing in. You'll see more new products from us um, from a wearables perspective, uh, but you have to wait and see what they are. <laughs> okay. And uh, what do Razer today for eSports? And what will it do to support eSport in the world? And Maybe in Turkey. Well, esports is in our DNA. You yes. know, that's one of the things that uh, we were one of the pioneers of esports out there. I used to play competitively, right? Um, and we've the Team Razor brand is probably the most prestigious brand for esports out there. We sponsor over 250 esports athletes worldwide, and definitely in Europe or in, in Turkey, we're always looking for new talent that we can nurture and that we can support. Um, the difference for us is that, unlike most of the other companies, most of them might go out and spend money and tell them to use the brand and things like that. For us at Razer, we are already the number one brand when it comes up to esports. More esports athletes use um, Razer products than any other brand. Now, on top of that, what we are doing is that we are also supporting the not just the pro players, but uh, also the, the tournaments. But we are also starting to focus on grassroots. You know, we're going to be building up this thing called Razer Arena, where gamers, anyone, can create their own tournaments, and then our esports um, managers are going to be watching the gamers play. Because if we feel that there's some talent, it could come from, uh, it could come from North America, it could come from China, it could come from Turkey. We want to find the very best to play under the Razer um, Team Razer uh, flag, and uh, that's a couple of things that we're doing for esports right now. And do you have anything to add for the world and Turkish gamers? Sure. Well, you know, one of the reasons why we're here today is that um, we see that the uh, European gamer or the, uh, uh, the Turkish gamer has been very supportive of Razer. In fact, we know that um, there are a lot of truly passionate Razer fans out there. Razer is one of the brands that everyone knows, you know, we, we establish the benchmarks for technology. We are esports is in our DNA. And Continually, what we want to do is to give back to the community. Yes. So what I'd love to see, I think, moving forward from here is a lot more participation. I'd like to talk a little bit more to our fans. You know, I maintain my own Twitter and Facebook page. would love to see and hear more from our friends from everywhere, especially in uh, Turkey. Okay, thank you, Min. All right, thank you. Thank you for your time. Appreciate thank it. Thank you for your time, too. Evet, arkadaşlar, Min'le konuştuk. Razer hakkında konuştuk, oyunculuk hakkında konuştuk, Türkiye hakkında konuştuk. Artık çalışmalarımız devam edecek. Bir sonraki sürprizimizde görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın.